I'm Melissa Lee. I'm a professional illustrator and surface designer, and some of my absolute favorite things to make are patterns. I first learned how to make a technically repeating pattern in Adobe Illustrator back in 2015, right here on Skillshare. I now have about seven years of experience at making patterns and pattern collections, about three years of experience at submitting a surface design portfolio, and two years of experience at being a licensed fabric designer. If you're doing the math on that and thinking, huh, it sure took her a while to start actually making money from her pattern work. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> there are a few reasons for that. Like, for example, my various day jobs keeping me busy, life in general getting in the way, making classes on Skillshare taking up a lot of my time. But also, the hard truth is that I was getting in my own way. Two things that I see over and over again that cause budding surface designers, including myself, to stagnate and lose momentum are collections and portfolios. Specifically, the idea that they have to be absolutely perfect in every single way before you should start sharing your work or submitting your portfolio. Because I was so focused, really obsessed with the idea that my portfolio needed to look a certain way and I needed to follow every single piece of advice I'd learned to a T, I wasted a lot of time on feeling discouraged and overwhelmed, and most importantly, on not showing or submitting my work like I should have been. When I finally decided that enough was enough and I actually started to submit my work, I landed a dream licensing deal within a year. My goal with this class is to share with you everything that I have learned over the years regarding pattern collections and surface design portfolios through taking dozens of classes myself and from actual practical learned experience. And trust me, I have learned a lot. In my first class on pattern design, I focused on the technical side of creating a repeating pattern in Adobe Illustrator, so it is a very demo-heavy class, whereas this class is lecture-based and focuses on the do's, don'ts, and myths of pattern collections and portfolios. My hope for this class is that it can help you to avoid the sort of stagnation that I experienced on my own journey to becoming a surface designer. I want you to leave this class feeling motivated to share your work and to continue creating patterns. So let's get started.